Okay. I'm with Rajiv Roy from Rudolph Technologies at the Semitech Metrology Workshop. Rajiv, um, what would you say is the importance of, three, of metrology and 3D IC technology? Um, clearly, a lot of the larger companies are working on this. It's of uh, tremendous importance primarily because of performance. The big thing, the number one thing is clearly we are depth, no, no doubt about it. Uh, other things of concern happen to be how do you handle the sidewall, the defects on the on the on the, on the sidewall, uh, the CD dimensions. Um, clearly, uh, even things like the void uh, after fill, those are those are of concern. Um, the infrastructure right now is not there for the reliability uh, to ensure that the packages are reliable. So it is very important that these types of metrology are available up front in the process. Um, so from everybody I've talked to, all the major guys, uh, the metrology infrastructure uh, is still not there. This show is actually remarkable compared to the last two years because you see a lot more participants have jumped in. So clearly solutions are are, are coming to market. Uh, of course, you look at the presentations and they're not all quite there. They still want to say they want to work with participants, but it's happening. And, and so that's a, that's a very good uh, sign for this industry that we can actually enable 3D IC packaging uh, with the petrology. Thank you very much. I'm with Rolf Shervey of Rudolph Technologies. Rolf presented earlier on all-surface wafer inspection. Rolf, can you summarize for us um, the most important points of your presentation? Well, for the past two years, uh, Rudolph Technologies has been in Albany working with Semitech, uh, and we've uh, had some experience with uh, 3D uh, TSV metrology in this time uh, that I talked about a little bit in the presentation. Um, specifically all-surface inspection for uh, bonded wafer cracks um, and uh, handling concerns and also uh, done, uh, work with uh, near-infrared experiments uh, where we replaced uh, the complete optics on the tool uh, to um, inspect bonded wafer pairs uh, for overlay alignment and uh, defectivity between wafers. Um, in addition, we've been doing edge bevel work uh, for bonded wafer pairs and uh, in conclusion, I would say that uh, over the past two years, uh, what we've proven is that the Explorer inspection cluster uh, is useful in 3D TSV manufacturing. Thank you very much. And we have some poster sessions this afternoon. This is Sriram Gopalan of Sonics, and he's explaining scanning acoustic microscopy for metrology of 3D interconnect bonded wafers. Hi, thank you very much. Uh, so, the main focus or the main application, what we are trying to do is use scanning acoustic microscopy uh, to check the alignment of wafers post bonding, uh, which is kind of very crucial in a 3D metrology. Defection, uh, detect, uh, defect detection. At the same time, if you can also check for the post bonding alignment, mm -hmm. it's going to be very beneficial. Uh, so that's what we are trying to do, uh, come to it. So as we were talking inside, uh, by measuring the delta X and delta Y, you can actually find out uh, how, how well we have aligned. Currently we are, like as we can see for this uh, combination, anywhere within 7 micron uh, shift we can actually detect. We'll be able to use SAM technology for alignment. But I think semi-standards are getting more demanding and we need to do a better job at that. So. Um, so we are currently working to improve the making our resolution better on that. So what we are proposing is that for the alignment features are currently etched with copper. Uh, we are going to try etch it on both sides of A uh, and then um, uh, you know try to do that. So that's kind of in our future work. And also we have not used our 300 megahertz transceiver. Like uh, ultrasonics is inherently a 3D uh, technology. It's predominantly used in the defect detection and uh, monitoring and process control and things like that. The various uh, capabilities, some of the capabilities of uh, SAM capabilities are given here. Uh, used to find the voiding and the wafer bonding, look for any delaminations and also what we are trying to do like post bonding alignment and also wafer thickness measurement, bonding layer thickness like the thickness of the bonding layer all the trench depth measurement are the various things that you can do. So some of the example images are given here.
that uh, SAM images obtained on a Sonic uh, uh, scanning acoustic microscopy system. When it gets really challenging is that when the defects, when the pitch of the defects are spaced very closely, like when we are talking of the high density DSVs, where we are talking inside the presentation. So when that becomes then, the, it's going to get a little challenging. Uh, the various variables that would uh, be affecting the beam width would be the bonded wafer materials, what kind of materials we are going through, the thickness of the layer, and what transducer we are actually using. So to evaluate all these things, what we did was that we actually developed a calibration wave. We are trying to get at is that if we can use SAM system while checking the, uh, you know. I'm with Andy Rudak of Semitech. Andy, how did today's event go? Uh, I thought it went uh, very well. You know, uh, the last two days we've had three workshops on 3D. Uh, related topics. Uh, yesterday it was a stress uh, workshop uh, in the morning. Uh, there was a 3D standards workshop in the afternoon. And this afternoon we just got out of a six hour uh, 3D metrology workshop that was uh, very good, very lively discussion. Uh, all told, I think the last uh, two days we've put about uh, 200 people uh, through these three workshops. I think a lot of good information was uh, shared. And, um, I'm really happy that uh, uh, everybody uh, participated uh, like they did and uh, came to the workshop like uh, I, I hope they would. What do you think we'll end up with next year? Well, next year, you know, we're going to try to continue uh, the progress that we've, we've been making. Uh, this is the fourth year we've done this uh, metrology workshop. Uh, we've, we've grown from uh, six abstracts to the first year to eight abstracts the second to 11 the third. And, this year we actually had 23 abstracts submitted and a wide variety of topics. Uh, we had a really tough time uh, narrowing it down to the 11 podium presentations, so we opened up a poster session this year, first time we've done that. Um, I'm thinking next year, you know, if we get the same level of interest and same growth, uh, we'll probably maybe go with a whole day affair and uh, cover a lot more uh, topics and more opportunities for people to learn about 3D metrology. Excellent. Thank you.